This video is to go over how to edit the theme of your class pages in PowerSchool's Unified Classroom. So first off, you're going to go over here to Manage Class, and you will select Edit Theme. When it loads up, you will see the themes that you have made, so you can see that I've already made a couple. You will see the default themes, which is this Chawanaki blue one, which you can currently see here on the page. That is the standard. And then you can also see PowerSchool learning themes, which are left over from the previous um, learning system. So you can click through and see there's all of these different options, lots of different ways to customize it and make it cool and pretty and interesting. So if you want, you can easily just use one of these and click apply. Or if you like one of these, you could do apply and edit. When you open it up or if you create a theme from scratch, it's actually really easy to use. I have to click edit again. I said I wanted to make a copy. I don't know why it did that. Anyways, when you go to edit the theme, there are the four different sections. The first section is general where you are able to come up with the theme name. So if I wanted to change this to super awesome template. Then I can pick the page title, what color I want the page title to be in. I'm going to make it a very beautiful blue that it didn't change to because you have to click set color. So you can see the page title change there. There are all these different options that you have for font, so you get to be super creative. Um, I'm just going to pick a random one. Other titles, those tend to be the titles of, uh, it's hard to see, but down here, the, like the announcement, so those would be your content blocks. You can change the colors on those and the fonts as well. Link colors, which will be for assignments or web links that you put in. You want to have a color for that, so we're going to make that a beautiful fuchsia. Then you can go over to your header, which is where for the class name you can change the way it looks. So we're going to make it that. You can change the color of the class name. You can also, um, the header tab, so the little colored boxes that pop up on each of these, you can change the color of that. The header background you can change the color of. You can also, that is not good with that text color. Let's change it there. Uh, you can also upload your own little logo if you want it or your header image. I haven't had too much success with the header image just because it has to be the right size in order for it to fit. But you could put in a little logo if you have class logos or if you can find like this NHS logo. It will just pop it off, pop it up next to the class name. There we go. You can also choose to make the header transparent, white, or translucent. So it kind of makes it so this shows up a little bit better. It, this would be good if you have an image as your header background. You make it translucent so it's a little bit see-through, or you can make it completely transparent where it doesn't even show up. Then you can go to the background. You can add in your own images. So there's an image back here. Uh, unfortunately, the edit Window doesn't really allow you to scroll down and see the full page, but you can easily upload your own images. You can also do just colored backgrounds. You can also get, you know, super fancy and make it like a gradient. Um, so it fades. Once again, you can't really see it because of the limited edit screen. And finally, appear appearance. You can make block styles independent or unified and make the borders rounded or squared. So those are little minor changes and you click save. And there is my beautiful, beautiful page with all the random colors that I clicked on it. Um, and so once again, you can go up, that theme has been saved, so if I decide that my beautiful, super awesome theme is not what I wanted, I can easily go and select one of the other ones that I've made. So I hope this was helpful when creating your themes for your class pages.